Is this mad science or radical technology to refreeze the Arctic? Tests start this winter. Here's what you need to know. This is the freezer. It's called climate repair. In this refrigerated lab, it's minus nine, they're trying to recreate sea ice. Scientists are working on a plan to pump seawater onto the surface of floating ice in the winter. They hope to thicken it enough to stop it all melting in the increasing summer heat. And that could preserve the reflective white covering at the pole and help cool the planet. So you're basically trying to recreate how sea ice is formed? Absolutely, so the insulation on the sides means that it only freezes uh, from the top down. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll pour water on top and then that simulates us flooding the, the ice in the winter in the Arctic. Trials will start in the Canadian Arctic this winter, funded by a UK government agency that backs ideas on the very edge of what's possible. If we leave it 20 years and climate change continues in the way that we see it right now, with the the disasters unfolding and we haven't done our homework in other words just thinking about what the potential options are and this is only one project with one option then we're going to be in a terrible place other ideas to repair the climate include scattering sun reflecting particles high in the atmosphere to shade the planet underwater curtains that stop warm sea currents creeping underneath floating ice shelves in antarctica and melting them from beneath and scattering nutrients such as iron into the ocean to boost the growth of microscopic life that sucks carbon out of the atmosphere and drags it to the sea bottom when it dies. But it's controversial. Other scientists say the technology is untested and would even if it worked, it would be hugely expensive to scale up enough to make a difference. It, it's almost a bit of a fantasy actually that, that we can do this within the time frame that we have it's being serious about solving the climate crisis requires us to to reduce our carbon emissions and some of these ideas uh, these concepts are, are distracting attention away from what we know we need to do but the arctic is warming four times faster than the rest of the planet and scientists behind climate repair say anything and everything needs to be tried to save it and now